Welcome to 3-Minute Gestalt. This is Unit 25 on Attachment Theory and Developmental Approaches. Now, Gestalt therapy doesn't itself have a developmental approach, doesn't have a developmental philosophy or framework. Fritz Perls departed from the work of Freud back in the 1940s. He moved to South Africa and started developing his own brand of Gestalt. So he moved away from Freud's developmental ideas. Um, of course, since that time, since the 1940s and 50s, there's been a lot of work done and we have attachment theory and we have a lot more research and understanding about the nature of human development. But Gestalt itself doesn't have a developmental theory and doesn't reference one specifically. Um, Gestalt works very much in the here and now. We work with the immediacy of relationship and where there's something from the past, some family relationship, which obviously has important effect on our development, then we deal with the feelings in the present, we bring it into the present, we work with it in the present, we work with it through the therapeutic relationship. Um, so we don't, you know, fit people into boxes, into certain type of developmental boxes or say, well, you, you've got to transit through this phase or you, you know, we, we don't apply that level of analysis. As Gestalt therapists who are educated, we certainly understand and know about attachment theory and other elements of uh, developmental ideas of, of human nature. And that's useful to kind of inform us about psychology in general. However, Gestalt is a phenomenological approach. It means that we, we're not analytical. Uh, we don't put people in categories. Um, even if they're helpful categories, generally, we try to steer away from that. Sure, we can talk about avoidantly attached people or we can talk about, you know, anxiously attached people. And that does help give us some kind of understanding. Um, but Gestalt, we always want to go beyond understanding into experience, into the actuality of who this person is in the moment and help ground them in, in the awareness of that and develop a relationship with them. Now, the thing that is characteristic of Gestalt, I guess, is very much relationship dialogue that's one of the four pillars and that's where gestalt is particularly amazing you know we we know how to enter into uh, i thou sort of dialogue with someone we know how to be transparent we know how to really work the therapeutic relationship as a what we would call a real relationship not just a transferential relationship but a relationship that has substance in and of itself so in this sense, it could be said that Gestalt is working with human development, it's working with the development of people in their growth trajectory, um, but we do that without a specific model. We do that experientially and we do that through, as I say, the therapeutic relationship. Now, that's not to say that it's not useful to learn these theories and to figure out how, how they might be relevant to a particular person, but Gestalt fundamentally is not theory driven. Phenomenology is a very atheoretical kind of model because it doesn't prescribe any particular things about human existence. The existential model doesn't say how people should live or what's better or what's worse. Um, it's, it's a very broad approach which says, who are you and how has your development occurred? So we're really interested in people's individual tracks rather than fitting them into any particular model. Still, Gestalt has drawn on different kind of models of development to, to integrate sometimes the, this here and now approach and what could be described as a broader field approach. Because yeah, knowledge is a good thing. It can be a good thing as long as it doesn't get in the way of seeing the individual person and psychological knowledge is of value. Attachment theory tells us a lot about how babies attach, how children grow, and that can also help us understand how to foster the, the therapeutic relationship. Always though, we come back to the immediacy of experience because that's what's fresh and that's what makes Gestalt a particularly dynamic type of psychotherapy and what makes the Gestalt relationship, the, the therapeutic relationship, particularly alive because it doesn't follow a prescribed model of development. It's, it's really about this person and me and how can we support each other's development in a sense because it's co-created.